What's up, y'all? It's Julian Gordon from the Multifamily Movement, aka your property brother, aka Mr. Multifamily, and I'm actually here to show you uh, the beginning of an eviction process. I told you I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. A lot of people only show you the good sides of multifamily real estate. Well, this is the bad side. Um, so, yeah, I got to start the eviction process here. Got to put up this five-day notice, and then the process starts uh, and to unfold. Every city has different laws around that, so you need to understand what the laws are in your city before you start investing. Uh, places like New York. It might take you three to six months to evict somebody, whereas here in New Orleans, you can typically evict somebody within 20 to 30 days. I've already talked to the tenant, and in fact, they're just going to move out without us going through the full process, but I still have to initiate in case they choose to renege on their verbal commitment since they reneged on their written commitment through the lease, all right? So this is part of the game, but guess what? I've already accounted for this. When I ran my numbers on this deal in terms of evaluating the cash on cash return, um, I actually put in what I call a vacancy rate, okay? Not I call, the industry calls it a vacancy rate and that vacancy rate is five percent of rents okay so let's just say rents are three thousand for an entire building five percent would be you're setting aside hundred and fifty dollars every single month for vacancy so the five percent vacancy rate suggests at once out of every 24 months, one out of every 24, if you divide that, it's about 5%, you expect your unit to be vacant. Now, if you get a tenant that stays five years straight and there's no vacancy, that's great, but you actually want to account for a 5% vacancy rate. Um, this is really important. So that money is already set aside, but on all, in all honesty, I'm not really taking an L here because I'm going to use their security deposit that they put in as their rent for this month. The only L I'm really taking is that I'm going to have to pay a um, property manager to find another tenant about half a month's rent. Okay, so if rent for this unit was uh, 1150, I'm gonna have to cough up 575 dollars for that property manager to go back out and actually find a new tenant. That's really the only L that I'm gonna take for this tenant moving out. We're gonna get them out quickly and swiftly and uh, get this back up on the market. We already have the pictures. We'll use the pictures from before when they moved in and start marketing it right away. So this is just part of the game. I'm gonna show you the full game. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I want you to know the real deal. All right. So. Um, Vacancy rate, make sure you account for that. If anybody is showing you some cash on cash return and they haven't put in vacancy rate, CapEx, repair reserves, or property management, then the numbers that you're seeing are actually inflated, okay? You wanna know the real number. Just like a restaurant, they have to account for spoilage of food. Not all the food that they buy is actually gonna get used. And if you don't account for spoilage, then you're gonna run your numbers, think your restaurant's gonna be profitable, and guess what? It's not because you have this thing called spoilage, all right? Well, this is spoilage. Um, having to evict people, having vacancy is spoilage in multifamily real estate, and you wanna account for that in advance advance in advance okay so if you want to learn how to do this go to multifamilymasterplan.com again that's multifamilymasterplan.com show you how to finance find and finalize multifamily real estate deals just like this one uh, we're going to dust this one off the shoulders and keep it pushing go find a new tenant because we provide high quality affordable housing for folks and um, i'm excited to see who's going to be here next my selection criteria is going to be a little bit more, more strict this time around and uh, i'll have somebody in here within 30 to 45 days all right so again that's multifamilymasterplan.com i'll catch you soon peace